Hi, this is Suze Love and Tara. Okay, Capricorn, what do we got here? Love. Wow, it's kind of the same message as Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, it's on the bottom. King of Swords, okay. Wow, this is kind of the same message. Okay. Okay, so in the past, there was kind of like this running away energy, trying to escape energy is what I'm getting here with this Six of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, so if that wasn't you, then uh, here the message is whoever you feel like was not representing your truth to you. You're moving away from that into this... Uh, new energy now for some of you that was a sexual entanglement had no love there so it's calling for you to bring in love and that's the ending of those low vibrating connections where there's no love at the table and it's like calling for you if that's you the uh, princess of wands to move into a new way of being here okay so you can do what you want, but that's the suggestion, is to bring love, right? Two of Cups, that's next card. Okay, so. It's like healing the past, Mercury. Ooh, and the snakes are here, and that came up in the Aquarius reading just now. Okay. Chandeliers. I might name this uh, Aquarius Capricorn reading. I'm getting cusping energy here. Okay, so Eight of Swords reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. Releasing the pain of the past and moving into this kind of good feeling place. Okay, so that's what Aquarius, the suggestion was, is to have these kind of thoughts and send out love, right, to those that you love. So that's like pulling in that energy, taking focus off the past and moving forward and releasing the pain that way to keep moving forward, being present in the now. And that if you don't feel like you can have forgiveness was the way out of the door into the new high vibing energy. Okay. Yeah, King of Wands. Okay, so this is like purifying it through the fire, right? And bringing in this passionate um, future. Something you could be passionate about. Okay. Yeah, this is all cards of the past. Okay, so I'm not going to even show that. Okay, we're moving in the new. Princess of Cups, taking love wherever you go will attract the love. And Ten of Pentacles. So, for some of you, this felt like a slow journey. 
but it's coming in. Okay, so you got to feel like the world is working for you and with you, right? That's important. And flexibility. Yeah, this new you, the flexible you, and bringing love to the table, that has you feeling in your fullness here. Yeah, see? And then there's a match here. It takes, again, this is kind of repeated messages. That youthful energy, right? And we've got Princess of Cups and Prince of Cups. This is like a call for love. That's what it is. And that brings in the transformation here. Yeah. And that, uh, in that loving energy, that shines the light on the moon stuff. Okay, so maybe you felt a little exposed there, some of you. That's what I feel. Okay. I had you looking at different points of perception. Okay, but see? That Pisces energy. Okay, so that's... And then the higher front. So... Whatever framework you were working in, I feel like it's calling to do something different this time. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> all right, so some of you might be focused on um, um, praying, and this could be the court case or war stuff here, all right, because it's showing up, okay, so. This is that Libra energy that's doing some funky stuff. And then uh, the air energy coming in to kind of balance it all out. Yeah, here's Nine of Cups. Okay, so the key here is love. Okay, but not just love. It's like moving with love wisdom and clarity here okay and here is a magic lamp so make a wish i leave you with that thank you